All right. Here we go. The Isle of Hags. We're doing it. I've got the O apostrophe on the wrong side. I see. Better. Hard mode, survival, no other options. I'm going to play this like it's hardcore. I don't really want to die. Dying sucks. Because I like the idea of hardcore, but also I just don't want to lose my progress because this is going to be a long project. And I just also locked that in. Done deal. 17. Lucky number. Alright. Step one is to just play Minecraft. Step two is to beat Minecraft. Step three will be to actually do what I want to do. I could start it before I beat Minecraft. Start the project. I just feel like it'd be ten times easier once I've uh, automated everything, got to the point where I'm just not taking ten times as long to clear out a room, mine stuff. I want full diamond stuff, enchanted diamond stuff. So for that, it's pretty standard stuff. Get together wood, and then uh, the use. I don't know, mine. I'm gonna find a cave and get. Loads of iron. I see a cave there already. And some sheep, which is perfect. This is a great combo. First thing I'm doing is building the sword. Right, I don't have the stone yet. Okay, and... We're all set. Oh, further down. I want iron, so I think I'm just gonna take this guy on. There's multiple. Oh, you little shit. You don't want to come out of the sunlight, do you? That's annoying. Are there enough sheep? Oh, there are enough sheep to kill. Okay, well. I need your mutton. Can I reach it? Or is it guarded? Oh. Five, six, seven, eight. Amazing. So I've got a project in mind, um, I don't know how many people have actually played Banjo-Kazooie, but my intention is to build the entirety of Banjo-Kazooie's levels in Minecraft and survival mode. And then I also want to do the second game, Banjo-Tooie's Isle of Hags, so the entire island that houses all of the levels in that game as well. I, uh, I don't know how many people, like, actively know how big of a project it is, but I, I would, like, this is going to be a big one. I've never, I've always thought about doing this for years, and I've never even, like, 
I don't know. I've, I've just always wanted to do it. Never done it. So this time I'm actually sitting down and doing it. Yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, I, I can only imagine it's going to take me like probably over a year, but it's a project I've always wanted to do. So I'm going to do it. I, uh, like this is the first time I've ever like actively, well, I've streamed once before, but it didn't really, it wasn't that impressive. I didn't know what I was doing. This is like the first official time I'm streaming. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I'm i probably just like your brother then. I'm pretty obsessed with Banjo-Kazooie. I grew up with it as a kid, five years old and I was playing it. So I just have like memories of just playing around in that game, doing nothing, just, just running around the game, finding everything. And then now I have a tradition of every year I play it at least once. It usually ends up being I play it like twice a, twice a year. But I just get, I don't know, I, ha I have endless enjoyment from that game, and it's one of those games that I can just play over and over and over again. <laughs> now I'm just running around aimlessly. Okay, I have to just play Minecraft and just get through the whole, like, beginning of it and actually get iron and stuff and then just beat the game. So I guess I'll find a cave and I guess I can go back into that cave I was just in. Oh, sugar cane. This is me staking my claim on this cave. Oh. <laughs> I know, <laughs> one art. I'm fine. This is, an, I'm not even worried. <laughs> That's a witch. I don't want to mess with that. I definitely don't want to mess with that. How is there no coal or iron? I'm amazed. Well, thank you, though. I appreciate you coming by and, like, actually, t oh, God, tuning in to, like, my first stream. Oh, are you kidding me? This witch is actually chasing me? No. I don't want this. Thank you so much. Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. Like, more than you'd ever know. That's incredible that I'm, <laughs> I'm barely into this whole thing, and... That's amazing. I really appreciate that. We're gonna go find a different cave because that one is just not worth my uh, my one heart versus a witch. Finally found some coal. That'll get us started here. I plan on editing this all together too to make a, a YouTube series of some sort. I always dreamed as a kid, I, I watched like YouTubers like Chugga Conroy of him just playing any game. He played so many Nintendo games and I looked up to him so much. <laughs> and I always just thought I'll get famous on YouTube, that's my platform. And then Twitch got really popular and I just wanted to see how that went. I think it's uh, I think it's really cool. I am making my third furnace. Might as well make a bed. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought you could make it with two different colors of wool. I guess I'm camping out here for the night. Or I get full health and maybe uh, go with some shears. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I'm not usually like horrible at this game. I've been playing since I was a kid, so I was pretty confident until I saw the witch. That scared me. Okay, full health. We're good. Let's get this iron smelted. Get some shears, and then we'll go from there. I think I'll just run out there and shear a sheep if I can find one. I'll go back the way I came. There we go. It is. Minecraft, I will stand by this. Minecraft is secretly a horror game. I feel like the devs programmed creepers to jump out at certain places and like they've programmed like their jump scare behavior very well because they specifically will jump down on you 
and light the fuse before they get to you in ravines. So ravines are just the, the scariest place in the world when you're just like not looking to die. You have to look up first before you enter a ravine or just don't bother because sometimes they're just hiding on ledges and <laughs> yeah, no, I've lost, I lost a lot of hardcore worlds that way. Just plan and all of a sudden the creeper is already on top of me exploding. Truly uh, horrifying. All right, I am looking for one friendly sheep. I know I killed three of them earlier, so I don't blame them for running. There's one. Give me all you've got. You know what? It's good enough. All right. I suppose I could uh, make a bed. Just sleep right here, right now. I'm kind of looking for an ocean, though. I think I'll go through this forest. Oh, I'm actually uh, I'm Canadian. I haven't really moved or been displaced anywhere in the world, just Canada. My mother is from Scotland, so I have half Scottish genes, but I am just a, a simple Canadian. Australia, nice. I've always wanted to go to Australia. Oh, it's a villager, I want that. I wonder if I can give you something. Do you want to hold this? No? How about this? No? Um, I don't want you. Oh, we got a zombie invasion. Oh. Not worth it anymore. I'm not doing this. A cave. And another witch up there, too. That's lovely. Alright. This is my cave. I've heard Australia is, well, like, like Canada in the sense that it's, the people there are just so happy and friendly with everyone. As far as stereotypes go, that's always a great thing to have for your country. <laughs> If you survive that fire, that would be super cool. You do? Amazing. Wish you'd pick something up, though. Just pick one thing up. Alright, let's just... Yeah, it's always nice when, like, you meet someone not Australian or Canadian. And they just constantly talk up your country like, oh, yeah, you're Canadian. That's awesome. And then they just love you for it. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here. Come in. Are you going to sit there? Ooh, maybe you just stand still and that'd be cool. No, of course you don't. This guy's bothering me. Hold on. Just hold still for me. No, I'm so dumb. Come into the slot. Yes. Further in. You are a silly farmer. Come here. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Are you stuck? Nope. I'm just making a mess. Alright, we'll try again over here. Maybe you'll come right in here. Yeah! Alright. He's safe. <laughs> the classic Canadian A. It's funny, I have, um, because my mom's from Scotland, she's got lots of friends and uh, family over there and we we always had this uh, family of Scottish lads who'd come over and see us they would always make fun of us for the A 
stereotype. And it was always funny because the whole time that they were visiting, they would say A, like, all the time, be like, A, A, like, just to mock us. But, like, they would end up saying it way more than we would. Just, like, unironically, they would say it in conversation. Probably because they kept on, like, using it all the time in their conversation. But it's just kind of ironic. We'd always make fun of them for that as they left with their Captain Crunch. They don't have Captain Crunch there. One of the few great wonders of the world. Apart from the fact that it stabbed your mouth. It's sharp cereal. <laughs> yeah, my, my brothers and I always, like, make fun of my mom's... Well, not really make fun of, we just adopt, like, the sayings that she has. Because, like, Scottish accents and Scottish, like, sayings are just the weirdest things sometimes. They, they can just get so confusing. I love their insults. Like, I love their just, like, really playful insults. Yeah, numpty? Or, uh, the weens. We call each other the weens. Honestly, health codes, as much as, like, you miss out on some of the good stuff, it's, like, it's probably for the best. It's it's a tough uh, process of avoiding all the fatty foods. Really? That is... I learned something new. That's wacky. So depending on the sugar content of the cereal, you can't import it. You can't bring it with you. Our Scottish friends would, um, every time they came to visit... They would grab all the cereal they could they could hold, and they would uh, bring it home with them. Yeah, they would always leave extra room in their suitcases to stuff in the Captain Crunch boxes. Maybe they have the same rules, but they just didn't care. That'd be interesting getting stopped at the airport. Um, what you got there? Oh yeah, that's so. Now, a better question here is, do you, do you think that's a good idea, or do you think that that's stupid and you just wish you could have, like, all the candy and sugary cereal you wanted? Yeah, that's fair. Sometimes, yes, the candy and the, the sugary stuff we eat is just, like, you'll eat, like, one of them or, like, one of whatever it is you're eating. And then, like, if you go back for seconds, you either, like, fully regret it or you just feel disgusting afterwards. Sugar's that weird, awkward balance of, like, it's so good, but so bad. And then I also learned somewhere, probably wrong information, but like, when you have a sweet tooth, probably just about random information here, or incorrect information, but like, I heard that um, you naturally lose your sweet tooth as you get older. Like, it's, it's a normal thing as an adult to not crave sugar. Yeah, for kids, yeah, that's... It's because like, everyone's so hooked on sugar, and like, McDonald's, like, they do the same thing with salt. Load up salt, because salt's very, like deceptive salty snacks will just uh make you want more and then you don't know how full you are until you're already way too full overeating it's a huge problem i really just want some iron i'm amazed i'm in this cave and i haven't found like any veins of iron there we go spoke too soon yeah, the fake sugars are gross. And then they pulled out zero sugar or zero fat. Like, they just put on all these, like, oh, yeah, it's super healthy for you. But then they load it up with, like, the fake sugar, the sweeteners. It's disgusting. All right, I'll come back for the rest of the iron when I get an iron pickaxe. All right, that's enough for two pickaxes and an axe. When considering the fact that uh, kids get so easily hooked on things and, like, just dangerous substances and stuff like that with kids... I think I would probably prefer rules and regulations and laws in place to stop that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm an idiot. I ran away, lost my zombie. He would have been really great to have. I need food. 
Sun setting. We got pigs, pigs and cows. Yeah, debating the worth. There's some mountain over there. Yeah. Oh, no more sprinting. I hear a big slime. That is fair. It's a lot of drinks. Are you talking like sodas or like pop? Because they have so many different pop flavors. Where is this mass? I hear a massive slime. He's got to be in the wall here. Oh, he's below me. Fizzy drink. Yeah, it's it's funny. Um, we call it pop in Canada. And then I think it's in the States. They call it soda. And then, yeah, fizzy drinks. That's funny. I, I for one, actually can't drink fizzy drinks. Like, I, I've been that way since I was a kid. But I, I just, I can't drink fizzy drinks. I don't know why. I just, my tongue just gets, like, it just hurts. Even stuff with, like, a little tiny bit of fizz just bothers me. Where's the slime? <laughs> What's in my mind? There's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, it's Chris. Let's fucking go. It's a. Uh, it's nineteen. Nineteen? No. I can't remember. <laughs> I just I didn't I didn't start drinking until I was 19, so I guess that's probably where my, my brain's making that up. The slime is making me lose my mind. I'm just trying to find it. I it, I know it's a big one. I can hear it. It's a it's exactly a big slime. I can't find it. It's somewhere in the walls, the ground. I don't know. Oh, hold on, I found the slime. Oh, it hit me from there. Yeah, that's kind of the way it is in like certain areas in Canada. It's certainly not like, I don't know. My friends were all drinking at like, I mean, as young as 14 for the most part. Most people are partying around that age. Yes, casual alcoholics raising kids to be casual alcoholics. It's, it's very true. That happens so frequently. Slime. Just give her into the unknown. Oh, what am I doing? Forgot something essential. That is, I. that's what happens to a lot of people. And it usually just happens to the best of us where we just have too much because we think, like, that's, I can handle it or... You know, it's not quite, I'm not quite there yet. And then, yeah. But yeah, it, it happens. It's probably, like, way better off that you find out early on that alcohol's not for you. And being okay with it is actually a lot harder than you think. When you feel like, it's okay, I don't need to drink. That's an incredible accomplishment. Alright, let me finish this coal vein and then let me try modding you, Chris, again. I can ban you. You want to be banned? It's left of the timeout options. Not just this ban. Ban road angles. I'll just... I'll ban you then? Did I make a second pickaxe? Of course not. Why would I do that? Yeah, the time zone's 3 a.m. there, eh? It's already Friday. 
speed up, would you? What was that stupid video? It was the, the girl who was like, or no, it wasn't a video. It was just some, some lady posting about, uh, oh, hello. One moment, please. All right. It was that one meme where it's like, I hope she's kidding, but she's like, I just figured out that Australia is one day ahead and they didn't warn us about 9-11? Like, come on, guys. If only that's the way the world worked. Is it true you guys are, like, constantly upside down? Or are you upside right and we're the ones that are upside down? Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't have drop bears if, uh, if, you know... They would be called drop bears? Would they not be rise bears if you guys were upside down? Upside down isn't real. Chris, you don't even know what's real. Chris, are you even real? I got you. Yeah, get wrecked. Okay, alright. You know what? That's fair. You guys are on top right now. <laughs> you guys are on top, so the drop bears are coming down. Clear the landing field. Run away. They're terrifying little things. I gotta ask about, like, the scary critters that you guys get. Have you ever had to deal with, like, big nasty spiders? Giant huntsmen? Or whatever they're called? They genuinely freak me out. <laughs> 23 of the top 25. Huntsmen are cool. Ugh. I know, I know they're harmless, but man, they harm my brain. I I don't like that what they do to my brain. They make me scared. They are they nicknamed like the dinner plate spider because they're as like as wide as a dinner plate with their leg span. Yeah. Oh, oh goodness. Dinner plates are the funnel web? Really? They're huge. <laughs> I didn't read the rim part when I read that. I was like, as big as a car. What have I been missing in Australia? I thought that there was like, maybe it's just sp anti-spider propaganda, but I thought that there was like giant huntsmen. Are just regular huntsmen and giant huntsmen like two very different species or are they just huntsmen when they get out of hand? Or do you, like, have you even seen a giant huntsman? Are they even, like, actually real? Anti-spider propaganda. They want you to believe that spiders are, uh, here to destroy the world. Yeah, I, I'm horrified of spiders, but I always end up looking them up and, like, looking up pictures just to see how big they get and how horrifying they are up close. Like, if you ever, if you ever want to see a really weird and creepy looking spider, look up the ogre spider. It has two massive eyes on the front of its head and then, like, really small eyes on the sides. But, like, it's, it's there because it, uh, it drops on its prey. It builds a little web net. And then, like, if a bug walks by, it'll just drop down really fast, Mission Impossible style, and just snatch it up. And that's why it's got two really big eyes at the front to just see what's in front of it. Cute! Ah. No. <laughs> Those little guys with the big ol' eyes? No! No! Oh god. <laughs> this is Sprinkles. Ooh! Dungeon. Let's go. Get some light up in here. Don't mind me, Mr. Spider. We're just talking about you. Oh, he's just chilling. Nice. Oh, a name tag. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, Chris, you caught me. I am part of the anti-spider propaganda. 
All right, this is good. I should. Uh, what's the F two? Perfect. Name the spider ogre. No, I think if you're gonna get an ogre spider, you name a track, right? That's just. <laughs> or onion. I would probably name it onion. Fiona. That. There it is. Yeah, I gotta go somewhere for a wee little, wee little while, and I think I'll probably. Finish streaming today, my next day off, I'll hopefully do the same thing again. Alright, iron acquired. That's great. I'm just gonna pop this iron into the furnace here, and then that's got a pretty good haul here. Good talk about spider propaganda. It's a real, it's a real issue, spider propaganda. Okay. Alright. Good first stream. That was so much better than I expected. I thought I'd be talking to myself. But that was a great time. See you later, Lily. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for hanging out with us. That was amazing. And I will call it there, too. Good stuff. I don't know how to end this stream. <laughs> Here it comes.